What's going on guys, Sammy here for Albie Reels Essential Rig Series. Today we're going to be checking out the Jewfish or Mulloway Rig. Now as always guys, we're going to start down the business end. We're going to be running an 8 to a 10 French hook. Now they're offset and the size you use will depend on the size of the bait you're going to be running. If you're going to be using quite a large slab bait, then probably lean towards a 10 If you're going to use a small live bait or a small head or something like that, then 8 would probably be uh, a bit more suitable. Mulloway have a massive mouth, so You'll be able to catch mulloway of all sizes on an 8 or a 10 uh, just as it depend on the bait. Now, we use such a large single hook because mulloway have large bony mouths, so you want a big gape to lock around those bones, and you want plenty of strength on that hook, so you can really give some pressure if they're running the wrong way. Now, the hook we uni knot onto our leader, and I like to use a 60 pound, either mono or fluorocarbon. Now, mulloway won't bite you off, uh, so you don't have to worry about that, but they will run you around structure, and they do have sharp pointed teeth, so they will abrade through the line, but they'll never slice straight through. If you do get a leader back that's been sliced straight through, chances are it was a big tailor or a shark. Now I like to use about 60 to 70 centimetre trace. And from there, we've got a swivel, and from the swivel, we tie onto our main line, and we have a running ball sinker rig. Now the reason we don't do a restricted rig, or we try and avoid it where possible, because Mulloway can sometimes play silly buggers where they'll pick up the bait, run with it, drop it, pick it up and run with it again. So that running ball sinker allows them to do that without any pressure whatsoever. Restrict ball sinker, they'd be dragging the sinker along with them. But the conditions don't allow, you can always change back to the restricted ball sinker rig. Um, again, if the current's really bad, you can opt to use something like a star sinker to lock it into the bottom a bit better. But always start at the ball sinker and uh, work my way from there. Now in terms of main line, I like to use between 20 and 40 pound depending on the country I'm fishing. Off the rocks, I'd be going straight to 40 pound. Off the beach, I'd probably ear on the side of 20, uh, unless there's some structure they could run me around. But it's quite a simple rig, guys. All you need to do is put some hours in on the beach or the rocks and uh, hope a big silver ghost comes your way. Hope you get stuck in your few guys. Cheers.